An additional regularization technique is label smoothing, and that happens with multi-categorical classification. The theory on this is something like this. So as, because of the way the loss function is computed, well, first off, because of the softmax, we can never actually get a y hat that is one hot encoded. So we can never get a y hat that is 0, 1, 0, 0. The closest we can get is to some small epsilon here, some s small amount from 1, a small epsilon here, and a small epsilon here. And so continually training for this training example, for example, is going to drive our f to be com com creating bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger second values here. So this becomes large, and these all will become uh, really towards negative infinity. And this second one is going to be going forward positively. If we're driving y hat so that all but one of these go to zero and one of them is going to one, what that's really doing to the output of f is driving the first element towards negative infinity and driving the one that matches the one hot towards positive infinity. What that tends to do is cause this model to overfit. Okay? It, it, it is never good enough. It always tries to push this more and more and more and more. And so that can cause the weights in our network to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Right? This is getting more and more and more and more extreme. Label smoothing says, you know what? Let's not be so dogmatic. Okay? Rather than trying to get to 0, 1, 0, 0, why don't we just try to get close to 0, close to 1, close to 0, close to 0? So what that says is, label smoothing is, these are not smooth labels. These are, these are, whatever the opposite of smooth is, rough. These are rough labels. So what we can do is go ahead and just modify this. We're going to make this epsilon, 1 minus epsilon. Okay, so for some epsilon. And we're going to make this one, epsilon over 3, epsilon over 3, epsilon over 3. So the sum is still 1, but it really looks, you know, more like something like 0.999, you know, 0 0.0003, 0 0.0003. So once y hat gets to learn that the second one should be 0.999, that's good enough. We're not going to try and force it any farther. And we would do that same change for each of these labels. And we call them labels just because we talk about label data. The y's are normally the labels. So same thing here, and same thing here. So our labels are now a little more tolerant because ones, stark ones and stark zeros are not very tolerant it's because the y hats can never get there based on how we have actually set up our softmax. Same thing is true for sigmoids, too, right, for binary classification. We can use label smoothing for binary classification just as easily. So instead of a 1 or a 0, it can be a 1 minus epsilon and epsilon. So that's really the idea of label smoothing. There are two ways it can be implemented. One way it can be implemented is go ahead and actually change the y's. A second way it can be implemented is just go ahead and do it in the loss function. So in the loss, add the label smoothing. So we'll go ahead and adjust this such that it actually isn't going to be y sub i log of y hat sub i. It's going to be if y sub i is 1, then actually make this 1 minus epsilon times this. And if y sub hat is 0, make this epsilon times log of y hat sub i. 